Doug Phillips with Metolius Climbing. We revised the master cam to make it about 20% lighter than they were before. It's a combination of the design and the materials used. You know, just simple things. It's like instead of a piece of steel around here, we put a piece of webbing, a piece of Dyneema. And uh, instead of a big copper swedging type thing, we use a little um, silver brazed fitting in here and then make the rest of it out of aluminum. We didn't really go too far in like cutting out parts of the cams because we just don't ever want to have one break. We've never really had any failures in, in these things and we never want to see one. But we're confident that we can do these other things and bring the weight down and still have the security. And we believe that the new tooth profile is a little bit better. You know, they're like little shark fins. The old master cams went through number six and this we added the seven and eight. You know, we went with a little bit larger diameter cable, so it's a little bit stiffer. So, and we ran that down to the number five size. The old five and six were a little bit floppier than we wanted them to be, so we made them a little bit stiffer. The small super cam completely overlaps. The medium overlaps into the eight size, yeah. The sling moves around inside, so you can you know, move it back and forth and check it out and make sure that you don't have any damage anywhere. And then as it ages, just send it back to us. We'll put another one on. It's the same as we do with the other ones. So really anything over five years old needs to be replaced. Everything's made in bend. Yeah, we do all the machining. All the parts are actually sourced within the United States. So all the aluminum comes from the U.S. You know, the steel parts and all that. Yeah. And we usually start with uh, a little bit lighter weight than we think will actually work. And then, yeah, we go and we see uh, where did it fail, how did it fail. So we'll change that particular mode of failure. And then we'll go, you know, and make it stronger. And, and then you go back and try it again. You find that something else breaks on it. The whole goal really is to make it so everything fails at about the same time. So that the sling breaks about the same time as the aluminum paste here fails, which is about the same as what the cable breaks at. And if you have one part that's really strong, it doesn't really help you any because it's the weakest link is what's going to fail. And so if you bring everything to sort of that same level, then it's usually going to be the lightest that you can get. You just have to bust things in so many different ways because you know this is just going to get reefed over an edge and you're going to have, you know, a thousand pound load on here. And so you have to make sure that it's not going to you know, and models don't really tell you that. So we're, we sort of use models, but mostly we believe in testing. And we believe that the new tooth profile is a little bit better, but it's really, really difficult to actually test because you have a bunch of different types of rock and, you know, all different conditions. And so it's really hard to, to put this one in and, and then put this one in and say, okay, this one worked better, you know because it's almost impossible to find a placement where this one will pull out and this one will work. You know, it's a, it's a really fine line. What happens when you load the thing up? You know, first of all, if you're in like solid granite, there's no difference at all, basically. Where you start to make a difference is in something like limestone, those softer rocks. When you get one to pull out, what you find is that there's this complete layer of just powdered rock sort of forms a slick surface and, the, and it comes out. First of all, it's kind of hard to do. It's hard to find those placements where it actually happens. But we at Smith Rock, you know, some of the welded tuff there will behave that way. We believe that it tends to behave more like a liquid than a solid at that point. And so it's you're really trying to get rid of that material that's been crushed and you're trying to get it out of the way so that you can get down to like actual real rock. And we believe that this tooth pattern will do a little bit better job of doing that. We're pretty psyched, really. I've been using them, I really like them.